Well, my name is John Kunkel and I'm the creator of Yardbird and i um, happy to be here in Singapore. Yardbird opened almost six years ago in um, South Beach in Miami and uh, at the time we were the first restaurant of our kind and, and still in many places in Singapore and Las Vegas we're, we're kind of the first to bring southern food to some of those areas. So. Uh, it was uh, risky at the time and, and everyone didn't know if it would work and uh, fortunately it's become one of the most popular, busiest and, and uh, well respected restaurants down there. So. so Southern food to me now is a bit of a blank canvas. Um, you know, So many chefs uh, in, in the Southern United States are kind of interpreting that based on their background and how they grew up. So you know, Hugh Atchison, a very popular chef that's on TV, uh, has a lot of Italian uh, influence that he brings to Southern cooking. Um, Edward Lee, another chef that we've cooked with uh, out of the South, uh, brings his, uh, his Asian influence to Southern cooking. So, you know, Southern food really originated with African and French and Creole influences, but now, you know, the influences kind of come from whatever the, the chef's background is or whatever they're inspired to kind of uh, infuse. Southern flavors are bold, um, you know, they, they really take uh, from what they, you know, the, the farm fresh ingredients that everybody grew up and had. So, you know, with Southern food, a lot of people immediately think of comfort food, uh, you know, fried chicken and grits, uh, uh, shrimp and grits, more Creole flavors, uh, biscuits, all those things, and those are absolutely delicious. But Southern food's also kind of grown up and got a little bit more sophisticated. So you have you know, beautifully plated, well thought out, uh, bright seafood dishes with vegetables. Um, you still have the indulgent and the fun things, uh, but you also have some very refined things as we go. So our menu is a balance of those two things. When you come here for brunch, it is delicious and indulgent and exactly what you want for brunch. But sometimes when you come for dinner and you're feeling like a little bit more of a refined experience, we also have those things available. And so brunch at Yardbird has been our busiest meal period um, from the beginning. Uh, the, the type of food that we serve, I think, is just such a natural fit. You know, biscuits and pancakes and waffles and chicken and all these great things that that uh, you know just you crave for brunch. Uh, it, it, we in, in South Beach, it's it's about the size of this restaurant, about a little over 4,000 feet and we move almost like 1,500 people a day through that restaurant. It's so, it never goes off of weight. It's very, very busy. Um, so, you know, as, as Singaporeans get uh, to know us and, and learn about our brunch, I, I think we'll have the same reaction here uh, because the food's just so craveable. It's, it's fun stuff, it's, it's delicious. We're making biscuits every 20 minutes that come out of the oven and waffles and fried chicken coming out of the fryer and just some really fun uh, brunch items. So signature brunch items are, are definitely our Elvis pancakes, uh, delicious big stack of pancakes. Uh, our chicken and waffles, which has become a, a famous dish at this point for us. Uh, it's our delicious uh, fried chicken with a savory waffle that has cheddar cheese and chive mixed in. And then we have a spiced watermelon where it has our kind of almost a, a barbecue spice mixture with a little lemon in there. So it's a nice acid at the end of that experience. And then we have our biscuits, which you can never do without. They're, they're again, coming out every 20 minutes. We have ham biscuits, chicken biscuits, I mean, just anything you can think of, fresh made jellies and jams, so a lot of good stuff. You know, I've done, um, I've created probably about nine different restaurant concepts, but none of them are as personal as Yardbird for me because this is the food I grew up with. And, um, you know, my, the chicken recipe, which has now become world famous, is my grandmother's recipe and been in my family for over 100 years. Uh, I grew up in Georgia and my grandparents were from South Carolina, so we kind of went back and forth between the two of them. Well, you know, I think it's all in the details. The fried chicken's a, a very known food, right? And, and every cuisine has some version of fried chicken. I think with our fried chicken, it's all about the details. We start with the best and freshest chicken we can. We have a very specific process where we brine the chicken for 27 hours, and we're brining it in a, in a secret spiced brine mixture that really um, gives it a very unique flavor. Um, a lot of fried chicken from the south and other places uses the buttermilk, which gives a little bit thicker crust. We don't, and we have a very thin, crispy crust that makes it very juicy on the inside and this brown, golden, delicious, crispy skin on the outside. Well, we have so many. Um, we, my chefs and I have kind of created over 20 different new menu items uh, over the last several months. Uh, we have uh, a couple on our menu now, so we have a beautiful uh, crab cake, uh, more of a 
a Chesapeake East Coast style crab cake with beautiful lump crab meat, but we did a black pepper sauce here inspired by Singapore uh, with some pickled cucumbers and Fresno chilies on top, which is a really lovely dish. I think um, our, our laksa, uh, our version of a low country laksa, which was inspired by kind of a Creole or low country dish for us, uh, we, we took a, a caramelized ginger coconut broth and really kind of did our version of a laksa with a beautiful snapper here. Uh, so we really have some neat dishes that are exclusive to Singapore, uh, as well as some amazing new cocktails that we rolled out just for this store as well. So uh, new and interesting things that you can only have at this Yardbird uh, that aren't featured at our other stores. Um, you know, strange, I think there's so many cuisines that have become so popular and so known. Italian food, Japanese food, Mexican food. Southern cuisine, I really think, is in the fabric of kind of the, the, the U.S. palate and, and, and some of our um, history in there. And so for us, it, it very much is an all-American cuisine, and it's really so well received as it's traveled now uh, because, again, it's so open to interpretation. While you have your classics, like Italian food or Japanese food, you know, it evolves and, and really takes on a life and, and interpretation of the chef. So uh, Southern food, I think, is going to continue to grow, and, and right now we're happy to be the ambassadors of that as we you know, bring it to Singapore for the first time, uh, rolling it out in, again, Beverly Hills at the end of the year. And you know, we were the first to bring it to Vegas and, and Miami, so uh, we feel the responsibility to get it right since we're uh, the ambassadors right now of that cuisine, and, and again, continue to collaborate with chefs around the country and, and everywhere we go.